Hello, and welcome to this new series I'm doing, where I go through elite code questions for the first time and solve them in C Sharp. The purpose of this series is for you to see the process I go through when I solve new problems for the first time. I'm also doing this series for myself as I want to improve my C Sharp skills. So, let's get into the first elite code problem called Sum. So, here we are on the elite code website where, as you can see, I have completed no challenges at all. Got my name Josh Ackland, so you can see not creating a throwaway account for this series. So let's get started with this first challenge called to sum. Okay, so given an array of integers, nums, and an integer target, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Okay, so 2, 7, 11, 15, so that's the input numbers and then target equals 9. So the output is 0 and 1. Okay, so that's index 0 plus index 1 equals 9. Okay, yep. So let's... How do I write code in here? Let's... Okay, it's not letting me write. Let's refresh. There we go. Okay, switch that to C sharp. Okay, so we've got the nums and the targets, so I guess probably easiest solution would be just two for loops, so for int i equals zero, i is less than nums dot count minus one, and i plus plus. Then another one for int j equals zero, sorry, int j equals one j is less than, just notice a spelling mistake here, it's less than nums.count and then j++. plus plus. So the reason I'm doing the way I've written it, so we're going to be starting with the very first number in here and as it said, actually let's see, was it just two? Return indices of two numbers, so just, okay yeah it was just two numbers, sorry start off with the first index and then actually we need to change this so it's i plus one so you start off with index zero and then you go through all the numbers one two three four five etc so if it's none of these are match it will never be zero again so and because you can't have it as the same number you need to do plus one there so let's see if that's right Okay. So basically, going through each thing, so like go 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 3, no match. Then go to 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, no match, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, no match, and so on until you get to the very end where it might be uh, the second last number and the very last number. So that's what those numbers are doing. So let's see. Um, okay, actually, how do you return it? Right, output a... okay, yep. So, if nums 0, sorry, nums i plus nums j equals target, then we return an array of i and j. So that should be it. So let's submit. Error. What did I do wrong? Val expressions semicolon. Why is that invalid? Ah! I forgot the one. That's why. Okay, let's try again. Oh, semicolon again. As you can see, I'm not the best of C sharp. I'm used to the Python coding where not having to do semicolons and stuff. Okay, what's. Right, you need to. Um, Return new int array of two and then see if I can remember the syntax for this. I think it's this. Okay, what have I done wrong? Int i equals zero, i is less than 
Okay, might need parentheses here, if I'm understanding that correctly. So let's submit again. That was not it. So, operator dash cannot be applied to operand of type method group. Ah, this is a method, like this, I'm guessing. Okay, cool, that is a, I thought it was a property, but no, it's a method. You know, I've just realized that I probably should zoom this in a bit if I can. There we go. Now you can actually see the horrible code I'm writing. <laughs> okay, so solution to some not all code path returns. Okay, I guess if if none of them are matched, then just return just an empty thing like that. <sighs> Semicolon. I keep forgetting those. <laughs> Array creation must ha okay. That's right. Size zero. I am very used to Python, not remembering how to do all this stuff. Okay. Uh, okay, accepted. Cool. You can see <laughs> all the mistakes I did there. So, okay, cool. Interesting. So, is this. I'm guessing this is speed of code? I think this is saying that mine is the least efficient. <laughs> okay. You know what? We can't have that, so we're going to try beat that. Okay, what have I done wrong which has caused it to be slow? So obviously, doing it like this, where you're doing two for loops, it's pretty inefficient. But what about it? Let's just run, see what's going on. Now let's see what the speed up button does. Let's see if I can just click it. Ah! That's probably why mine was slower than others. I'm going to assume. Let's see if the solution of iterating over the nums and getting the index would be quicker. So let's. I'm not sure how to do that, so let's see. So, the reason I did for loop there is because obviously need the index to be able to do the answer, but let's see if there's something like this, where, let's see, I wonder if this would be quicker, doing it like this. Um, no, this will not, yes it would. Oh. Let's just give it a shot. Make it interesting. So, and then we can do another. This one would have to be like this. You know. It's for science. Let's see if this does anything quicker. If this ends up being slower, then... Well... <laughs> um, bring that back down here. Let's see if that w works. That looked like it was about the exact same. <laughs> yep, that was that not being way worse. So we are going to go back to that previous solution of ours because was that was not that bad. Okay, let's sum that again. I'm curious as to what would be the best solution for this in C sharp, okay. What if there's a can I click and see this solution? Okay. So using hash tables, values to index. So for int I you know what I do not understand what's going on with this. 
I guess the reason why it's quick is because it's not two for loops inside of each other. If value to index dot contains key target minus Um, okay. There is no way I would have been able to do this. <laughs> Let's see what like median is. Maybe it's because I'm using count and not length, that's why it's taking so much longer. Let's do let's do that. There we go, okay. Apparently count is much... I guess that would make sense with length... Mm. Yeah, I don't know enough about what's going on under the hood to know whether... why the count method would take longer than the length property, but... Let's see what the slowest one is. Okay, my this extra check they're doing. Interesting. Ah, yep. So they did zero, and then zero. So, obviously the solution I did was I plus one f for this. Okay, that makes sense why theirs was slowest. So anyway, if you thought it was interesting watching me go through this leak code problem and seeing my process to trying to figure out problems and I guess also trying to figure out what the cause of the performance issues were. Like and subscribe so you can see the next time that I go through code problems in the future.